students, we have been discussing that there are journals, um, a massive amount of journal, a huge amount of journals available in the field of applied linguistics and uh, ELT, English language teaching. And we have been discussing them because uh, we need to know as researchers that where can we find them and how can we explore them and then how can we uh, publish within uh, these journals, okay? In this session, we are going to talk about um, four or five, uh, the mostly used journals and uh, the well-reputed and the mostly visited, uh, the mostly published um, organizations and associations related to English language teaching, right? So we would talk about um, resources um, related to applied linguistics, uh, since applied linguistics is uh, a field uh, which is now, you know, um, a multidisciplinary field. Uh, we are using psychology, we are using anthropology and sociology in the perspective of, uh, perspective of uh, uh, language teaching, right? So it is uh, uh, particularly a multidimensional uh, area of research now, and therefore we have a lot of research publications uh, going on, right? And we, we uh, must know that um, there are so many journals, there are so many research publications going on, that how can we uh, explore uh, the mostly published ones, the most frequently published ones, and the most important ones, right? Just in order to, to know the latest news going on, and also know the area of applied linguistics as a multidisciplinary area, and then we can also decide about our own researchers in future that how would we uh, determine, how would we consider that which area is, uh, you know, the most potential one, right? So the point is that you must know and you must take some relevant input as a research scholar that what is important going on around you. Uh, since massive research publications are going on and there are uh, so many databases, so many uh, preliminary uh, sources available, uh, we must be limiting our studies, uh, our you know, uh, discussion in this session particularly to uh, TESOL, uh, teaching of English to the speakers of other languages, right? A very, you know, uh, well-reputed and very uh, dynamic, very active association. And they are working for the promotion of English language teaching throughout the world. So you must know their website and their publications. You must be exploring them. You must be visiting them then we would also uh, try to briefly introduce uh, um, AAAL, the American Association of Applied uh, you know, uh, Linguists or um, you know, Linguistics. So we, we would also be using um, their homepage and we would be introducing uh, this association to you as well. And then there is another very dynamic, very active uh, you know, association and it is the International Association of uh, the Teachers of English as a Foreign Language, right? So you would also be knowing about their publications and their products. And then we would also touch upon uh, another association, which is uh, IRA. IRA is basically American Educational uh, you know, um, Research Association, right? So you, we would also, as the students of social sciences, we would also exploring this website and we would be discussing it. And then um, um, last but not the least, we would also introduce ESP journal to you, uh, English for Specific Purposes, which is another you know, journal. And we would be introducing them to you so that you know what is going on around you and what associations are important. So let's go to the websites of these uh, five uh, major publishers and major associations in the field of English language teaching. Guys, this is uh, the web page of uh, TESOL, Teaching of English to the Speakers of Other Languages. It is an international association and there you know, conferences, symposia, and you can also do some online certificate courses with them. Uh, you can enhance your career by doing some of these uh, you know, developmental courses. Awards, honors, and grants are also there, right? And you can also be the member of TESOL, right? And there are resources which are also available to you. The point is that they have bookstores, they have journals, they are publishing them. So this is the home page. You must explore around it. And right now I'm taking you to the journals section. 
so that you may know about some of the publications going on and some of their, you know, research journals. TESOL publishes two refereed publications devoted to improving English language teaching, like TESOL Quarterly and TESOL Journal. So you can explore them. And there are, of course, some of the uh, books available there. You can further explore and you can have a look on the pages of contents. And also, you know, this is the journal, TESOL Quarterly. You can subscribe and you can also write for TESOL Quarterly and you can contact editors, right? So you must be exploring TESOL uh, webpage, which is www.tesol.org, right? My second website, which I would like to introduce to you is the American Association of uh, Applied Linguistics, okay? So this is actually the Association of Applied Linguistics, which can give you a lot of, uh, you know, publications as well as their uh, conventions and their symposia and their workshops. You can also explore about it. And you can, when you are a member, you can also post there and you can also just uh, explore their research publications, right? It is a US-based association, as it's clear from the name that it's the American Association. Then we also have another association which is uh, uh, worth mentioning here, and it is the International Association of Teachers of English as a Foreign Language. So you must also be able to explore this website and know about their blogs. And you can also talk about their research publications. And also in IATFL, you can volunteer for them. And you can also have a look on their key documents, right? There are conferences going on. There are uh, scholarships and awards going on. And you must also know that how would you know about their publications? Uh, when you explore the homepage, you would come across a lot of uh, resources which would, you know, enhance your capabilities as a researcher. Another, you know, homepage which I would like to introduce to you is the American Educational Research Association. And you can here explore about AIRA, that how it is an association working in the field of uh, this, uh, you know, uh, educational research. You can also talk about their education research, uh, professional advancement, and you can also explore their publications, which is here from the home page, right? So publications are there. You can explore their journals, which are there, books, ebooks, and research points, online paper repository, and there are lots of things like for publication permissions you can have. And I would, of course, recommend you to, to explore and start exploring from here, which is, is uh, related to the research journals of American Educational Research Association, okay? And here is another database, which is, you know, maintained by Science Direct, a well-reputed, you know, publishing organization. And the ESP journal, if you are registered, and registration is free, as it is clear from this button, the registration is free. You can explore their research journals and books, right? And you can explore by writing down the keyword here, right? And similarly, author name can also be one point for uh, search. You can also explore from the volume, the issue, or pages. And, of course, it is related to ESP Journal. So these are uh, some of the wonderful sources and resources you must be using in your research uh, works in order to find your uh, answers to research questions and information related to your research topics.